What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back after the game, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. And in today's video, we give you guys our final World Arena update, which we're going to be finishing off with the Conquer 3 rank. Unfortunately, we weren't able to lock the G1 rank in. We had a lot of ups and downs along the way, but to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty happy about the C3 finish um, because of the fact of, you know, we, we learned a lot from this season. We definitely learned a lot from the season and a new strategy that we didn't play. But before we get into that stuff, I do want to let you guys know, if you guys can help me out, show your support. There's a link in the description down below to a video that I made on the Amazon App Store YouTube channel. As you guys know, we've been doing a lot of sponsored content for the Amazon App Store and their YouTube channel. So we do have a summoning session over there, a massive summoning session uh, with my man Pally, who came on board for a video, or sorry, a voice call. And we essentially just kind of talked the talk during the video and uh, bring, you, bring you guys some summons there. So if you guys are down for that, show your support here, like the video, subscribe to their channel over there. Again, we're gonna be bringing out some more content, not just uh, other people's so subscriber summons, but also my summons down the road. So make sure you guys are tuned in and locked into that. But anyways, fam, uh, yes, C3 rank, we could push here. We still have technically, you know, 60 wings between the end of the video, uh, you know, between now and to the end of the season. But ultimately, uh, the amount of matches that I have available, uh, you know, with relation to the amount of matches that I would have to win, you know, uh, <laughs> leading up to that final uh, G1 rank, it would be quite hard. We're looking at 220 points if I was looking to get up there. And that's uh, that's a lot of wins. Funny enough, I mean, if you think about it, you know, assuming that I'm getting about 10 points per match here, um, I would only need what, you know, 20 maybe 25, 26, 27 matches out of the 60 matches. I mean, I would literally have to just win half my matches, but uh, everybody knows by now when it comes to that last week of RT season, all the sharks come out, all the pro players come out, all the people that are grinding at the very end of the day uh, to get that final G1 rank or higher, um, they're pushing it. And uh, I honestly don't, <laughs> I don't want to get in their way, but let me tell you something, man. Up until this point, we were still going aggressive with our wings. And I am totally cool with that because at the end of the day, um, you know, I can't learn um, just from the rain of people that play, I got to learn from the best of the best. And that's, that's what I, that's what I came here to do. And we did that. We accomplished that. We got back up into C3 after dropping numerous times, uh, to C1 here, almost dropping all the way down to like 1,490 points. It was crazy. We dropped, we actually dropped a handful of points here. So, um, but yeah, that being said though, it was a blast. It was definitely a blast, uh, you know, messing around with it. This new strategy, uh, which was of course, uh, assisted, you know, by uh, Zigbear and uh, Ferris. Take a look at my account, see what we could do, making some changes. Uh, considering the units that I have available. And um, <clears throat> overall, it worked pretty well here. Some of the things that was kind of cool was a situation like this where we incorporated the use of Chi Wu, even though it got banned in the spot here. Um, I actually, this was something that I added uh, into the situation when, you know, somebody would utilize one of my uh, speed lead plus strippers, like a like a watery or something like that. Um, it actually came in pretty clutch in certain spots here. Um, my only downside was I wasn't able to get him outrageously fast and put him on will, which is kind of funny. Like, it's like a, uh, not really an oxymoron. What am I thinking about? You know, like, you can't have it all sometimes, right? So, uh, you know, the, and the situations to where I had Chi Wu and I'm like, oh yeah, between Chi Wu and, uh, and this year, I'm going to be good to go. But, you know, maybe they had some kind of unit like a Sekhmet or an Oliver or whatever like that. I may out, I, I may have outsped or no, 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 I didn't outspeed. And if I didn't outspeed, they would be able to reset my stripper, which was unfortunate here. So that was another, that was a big, big thing that I ran into if I didn't get the chance to outspeed. But generally... Speaking for the most part, I was able to get the jump on them if I was running, um, like I said, uh, Chi Wu or Nesher and some in certain situations. And, um, you know, it worked out. It worked out fairly good, fairly good. Um, but funny enough, in the last particular stages here, and you're going to see this right now, um, I got in certain situations where they really didn't have a lot of immunity. And um, and I was able to take advantage of Savannah a little bit more. Um, the main composition that I was running for the most part, leading up to this part was the uh, Water Ryu, Tableau, Ziana, uh, Chung Pong, and then I was using Ren, as you guys know. Um, but I've been substituting Ren out for Savannah <clears throat> since Savannah does have that extra strip, and does have the attack bar pushback, does have the speed buff, which sometimes can be considered underrated here in this spot. Um, worked out really, really good. Uh, I'm trying to think of this spot if I was able to take advantage of it here. I believe I was. Uh, we did get a uh, we did get a pushback there. Um, which is kind of funny. I thought the, I thought my Savannah was going to go before it, but I must have missed the pushback there on this replay. Um, that being said, though, yeah, it worked out really, really well. Um, you know, honestly, the attack bar pushback, the defense break was really all that I needed. If I was able to sneak in some additional stuns, that was really good. Uh, for those who don't know, we were running the Despair, as you guys can see right there with the Despair on the, uh, on the Dominic here. We were running the Despair Savannah, and man, it worked really, really good if we did not get 
you know, that defense break or the glance and whatnot here. It definitely slowed them down um, and uh, made it a little bit easier to finish it off here. So was really happy about that because, uh, you know, way back in the day, you know, I thought it was either, you know, like a swift unit or a violent unit. I never would have thought in a million years it would have been a spare. And I played around with it a little bit um, in PVE a few months back. And so when they recommended, yeah, we're going to go to spare this one. They're like, oh, that's kind of cool because I've been utilizing it on despair as well in PVE on siege defense. And it's been working uh, wonders here. So in this particular spot here, it was really weird. I actually went for the Oliver ban. Uh, I, I had a couple of matches here leading up to this where I was leaving Leo in a spot. Um, where, you know, most people wouldn't think of because of the fact of, you know, I had Tableau in there, but, uh, uh, this time around for whatever reason, I didn't go with the Leo band and I believe it worked out. Um, no, no, no. I think this is one of the ones that I actually lost here. So funny enough, um, you know, if I had that speed, I think things would have worked out in a favor. Having the Leo and the Vertigo is just absolutely disgusting. And uh, I get myself in certain situations where I'm like, you know what? Leo Vertihill isn't really that bad. I can deal with it. It's no big deal. And then I get punished like I am right now here where I'm spreading out my, my damage. I'm trying to do work here, but the uh, attack by manipulation that Vertihill is bringing is just too much for my composition here. So yeah, in addition to that, not being able to control that Masha because of the passive immunity really hurt me there. And ultimately it led to my, uh, one of my losses here uh, in this last push for the C3 rank or so. But yeah, he, uh, like I said, he, I'm, I'm spreading out my damage a little too thin, trying to see if I can snipe Leo. And literally, like I, as you guys saw, I literally set him up for uh, a fat ignore defense torrent right there. That uh, was one of the main reasons why he got that win here. So yeah, but uh, again, as you might have guessed, you know, we're making a couple of mistakes here and there. But overall, we had a pretty good, we had a pretty good run. And funny enough, after... Having that match where I went up against a Leo, I went up against somebody that's uh, in a solid C3. Um, and I believe in this particular situation, I actually did get rid of the Leo because I was just not having it anymore. Again, going with that same strategy here with these first three picks and then utilizing the Savannah versus like the Ren because, again, I just felt like uh, we had this, this was an opportunity because of what was left out there. Three out of the four units I can control with Savannah. Um, so I was, I was happy with that here. So we got kind of lucky here that. Ren didn't, uh, sorry, Ren, Masha didn't violent park. I feel like Masha always violent parks when they're going for that Savannah. Um, we were able to take out the CR and knock out the Cadiz here uh, with a nice little violent park here. I completely forgot about Cadiz being able to strip uh, with that passive. So uh, that's what I'm saying. I felt really good about this whole this whole push here up until I realized, oh, Cadiz can strip. Now, you know, Masha can do work here and that's what they were able to do. They were able to take it out. But luckily enough for us, we were able to take out two of their units before uh, they got one of ours down here. So as you guys might have guessed, in this particular situation, it's really hard for Water Ryu uh, to lose this match here unless, unless like they get some sick violent parks or they got a lot of multi-hitters to bypass that passive. And uh, yeah, that's what ended up happening here. We were lucky enough to get the strip on the uh, Shizuka, got the kill right there. And then uh, he makes a little bit of a mistake right here um, going uh, for the Ciara. Uh, revive versus maybe cooling down or so, you know, I was thinking he would bring himself back here, but I think he, I think he forgot that the CR was bomb was down. If the bomb was still available. Then I think we would have, maybe he would have had a better, a better outcome there, but yeah, a couple of mistakes were made. I believe on his part, we'd be able to secure that win. <clears throat> and then funny enough, uh, I was, I was content with the 1654 because I felt like that was going to be good enough to win it. But I'm like, I'm going to do one more just to see how we do here. So Again, utilizing Savannah, getting rid of that Leo. Tian Lang, I've been in situations where I wanted to ban Tian Lang. Um, and you guys have commented on my videos about this, where I ban Tian Lang uh, wrongly because of the fact that there's no attack bar, you know, push outside of, you know, the second skill on the fast link or whatnot or whatever like that. So, um, yeah, we were able to ban appropriately here. And we were we were lucky enough to get a, some clutch stuns. Uh, take out the TL link right away, get some additional violent procs here from the dice. And, uh, it was enough to take out again, two out of three units here. So it felt pretty good about this spot. Uh, it was a little scary cause I felt like, you know, I'm, I'm at that spot in the game right now where I'm like, okay, I want to do a few more wings, but I don't because I don't want to drop too low, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. C2 versus C3. There's not a lot of value that's going to be had here. It's the jump from C3 to G1, which is really what I wanted. But again, like I said before <clears throat> in the beginning of the video, you know, we're really, really far away. We <clears throat> we would have to play outrageously perfect, like flawless victories uh, from top to bottom on these wings here if we wanted to get up there. And I just, knowing my history, the way things go, the people that I was going to run into, 
it was highly unlikely that I was able to, I was, I was going to be able to make it happen. But at the end of the day, um, we were outrageously aggressive for these last two to three weeks here, uh, leading up to the final, you know, day of here of this RTA season. And, uh, to finish off C3 is still a blessing, uh, in my humble opinion, because again, it, it was, uh, it was quite the right. We learned a lot. We, we failed a lot and, uh, I did have a blast here. So for those of you guys that have been checking out the videos, over the last two weeks here. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, as far as special league goes, I don't even know what is going to be going on with regards to special league, but I will tell you this. I'm not a huge fan of special league. I generally, you know, take a break with that. Uh, and if, and if I happen to do special league, like for a stream or whatnot, I just, I like do a couple of matches with the units that I already have roomed up. So hopefully whatever they decide to do, I got some units roomed up here and you know, we just kind of deal with that. Maybe, maybe, I don't know if we, can we still do two V two? Uh, I think two V two is kind of out the question, right? Oh, that, that'd be nice. And we do some 2v2 down that road if uh, people are still into that here, but I, I don't see it available. So maybe it's not available now anymore, but I don't know. Maybe they'll have 2v2 for Special League. Who knows, right? Who knows? But anyways, fam, again, just wanted to point it out uh, that we will be dropping. Uh, I think we'll be streaming here uh, tonight about 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, as far as right now goes, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do if I'm not going to do any RTA wings here. Um, but uh, I think what I'm going to do honestly, I think I'm going to give it one more, one more go here. I think I'm going to give it one more go, do some, uh, do some summons, um, get like one more pack here, uh, because, uh, we do have a, we do have a, uh, a sponsor video that we're going to be dropping out in like 24, 48 hours. Not the one that I have on that Amazon episode channel, but another one here. And I think I want to do summons for it, my own personal summons here. As you guys know, um, we've done about 500 scrolls since this started and literally one nat five to show for it, which is a dupe. Super sad because I I honestly did, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Cookie Run Kingdom, you know, uh, skins and whatnot here. I still wanted a new unit just to mess around with because I feel like there's a couple of good units that could be super fun here. In addition to having, you know, of course, the big units that I'm still looking for, right? The Oliver and whatnot here. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, hey, gang would be great. Um, just some of those units here that can... Uh, fare really well, um, you know, in RTA as far as the meta goes right now. But yeah, that's going to be a fam. Again, hopefully we can see you on board tonight. Twitch.tv slash Childish402. If you did not know I stream, generally we stream Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday in the evenings at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Tuesdays has been a little bit early for me over the past few months here as I've been playing poker on those evenings here. Uh, we generally start over there uh, on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah, if you guys are down for that, check it out. Please feel free to do so. Again, the link is in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for your support, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Take care.